Hey, what is up YouTube? It is the Brick Building Kids. Guys, today I'm gonna to share a video with you on um, installing a new outdoor spigot. So what I have here is I've got all the tools I need to put a spigot right here. Now, what happened over this past summer is we installed, we got a pool and uh, we lost our old spigot underneath our big porch. So um, we have got a water line behind this wall um, it's about eight feet away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off some of the siding, we're gonna drill a hole through this wall, which is actually to our laundry room, and we're gonna run this right behind all of our appliances, and I'm gonna show you how to do that here today. So uh, let's get started. Here we go. my materials I used um, we're gonna be using here today so um, we are gonna be connecting to to uh, copper so I used a lot of PVC um, so we're gonna be using this Loctite I'm sorry the shark bite spigot um, and it is a um, it is one that is good for um, freezing lines so we're going to install that but what I've also installed is or I'm going to be installing is another shark bite um, turn off and we're gonna do this kind of right where the water enters this entire line because my house doesn't have a lot of shutoffs. We basically are gonna to have to turn the entire water off to the house before we can do any of this. Um, so we're gonna be using this shark bite to connect to the rest of the system and we are gonna kinda of need to do some elbows just to get around some stuff um, in the laundry room. So, so let's uh, start to pull apart the siding. All right, so I know right here is where I want my line to come through. Um, we're, we're gonna goal to have it right here because I know I have about this much space until we hit our wall. So my goal is gonna be right here. We're gonna have a header going all the way across here to make sure that we have connected to um, proper, proper supports when we um, install the line. And you know what, I think we're gonna go an extra step now that we've got all of this pulled off because this is no longer in use. So I might be able to just take this off and replace two pieces, kill two birds with one stone because um, we will never and have never used um, this, this exhaust line. So I might do that as well. Um, okay, so now what we wanna do is, like I said, we have a hole, we wanna hole right here where we're gonna put our, our line our line through. So I'm gonna drill a hole, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one test hole through to make sure that I'm getting through the other side where I want to be. All right, so I took a measurement on the inside, and we've got about five inches to the actual wall. So this should represent where our, our wall is. So we have from here over, that's gonna be our exterior wall. Um, we know we wanna put this line about right here. Cause we're gonna have, we're gonna have the line once it comes in, we're gonna have it attached to the wall for support um, as well. So I just wanna have this run along the back. So like I said, we're gonna run a test, test hole through, make sure we're in the right place. Now, there's just an empty wall on the other side, so I won't be going through anything if I don't quite get to where I want to be. Okay. I definitely didn't make dry, I did make drywall. So, go check and see on the other side where I went through. First hole was a tad too close. Next one, um, this one is perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand that hole so it's big enough to fit this. So we're gonna take and we're gonna get a um, actual, um, 
we are going to get an actual drill bit that will work. Okay, now one and a quarter is gonna be good enough for me to get uh, uh, my new spigot through. Okay. So we're actually gonna cut some of this up. So we're actually going straight through stud. And that's going to eat up our entire stud. I do not like that at all. Um, we're going to go... We're going to make a new hole. We're going to go right to the right. We're going to use this to support. And... That, that should be fine. I just... I don't want to... to I don't want to go through this and compromise the integrity of of everything so let's do this we're gonna go right through here all right and as we can see that goes all the way through all right my header okay so I could make a header from here to here okay so that's what we're gonna do um, before I transition over to that guys I'm going to take this off and I'm gonna replace this siding just so we can be uh, be done with a little bit outside for now I'm actually going to run the lows before I put insulation in here, but since we have a giant hole on the other side, I am just going to do that at another time. So, with this cut, I'm going to use this, and I'm going to use this right here. These are going to be my supports for my header. So, I'm going to cut away the insulation, I'm going to drill the hole through the header board, and then we're going to just put two pieces of siding on, and then we're going to uh, rest our new spigot on top of here. Perfect fit. All right, let's mark where our holes are. Okay, I'm gonna adhere this on, then we're gonna drill these holes back through. We are perfect. We are perfect. Okay.
this is I can use my screws and we can anchor this in now, which I believe is what we're going to want to do. Um, this little piece that comes on here, we're gonna, I'm gonna cut this off here, but what we're supposed to do is this top is supposed to rest, so it has an, a natural angle of down. going nowhere okay now fun begins now we are inside we are behind a washer and dryer and all kinds of all kinds of fun limited for space so should be good all right let's move inside this is really good though all right guys so this is the view from inside so what you can see is where I, back down there, you can see that shiny pipe. That is our, uh, what's coming from the outside. So down there is where we took out the exhaust for the dryer, which as you can see here, we're using a different exhaust. Um, but we are going to be running this pipe from here, behind this washer, behind this dryer, and underneath here in our little dog bowl station behind there is where all of the pipes are so um since these are held together by shark bite i'm actually just going to use this pipe and it's going to connect to our outside spigot so this will go the full duration of of what i need here and then we're going to put the rest of our things together i'm um, under here you see uh, the what we're going to end up doing to the pipe. So um, let's get this taken out. All right, so I have pulled out our washing machine. Like I said, back here, we are going to have our pipe run all the way through here. And then down in this area, you can see we've got where it connects. So we're gonna be connecting a T to the main section. We're gonna run an entire pipe through here and we're gonna have some bends because I've, I've got some elbows. I believe we're gonna have to change the height of this a little bit. Um, so let's, let's connect, let's connect the pipe now. Pipe. Run this all the way back through. Now, I wanna make sure we don't have this tangled up in any kind of cord in the front.
back there, you can see we are going to need to raise this up to make sure that it's not sitting on sitting on the, uh, the exhaust so it's not getting super hot. So I'm going to have it up here. So now here I have the water completely turned off, um, so I am expecting a little bit of spillage uh, just because that happens. So I've opened up some of the faucets in the house to try to draw that away from here. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this one off and I'm going to actually put the new one right. I'm going to put our new T right on top of this. So we should just be able to, there we go, right, seeing a little bit's coming out. I expected some and more than some. So let's just get that here. Okay. We are almost off. Again, this, these shark there is an actual tool to remove these instead of just using your crescent wrench. Um, but you should be able to just push up on the inside to get these to remove. budge does not want to budge there we go now it budged so this is still good everything is intact all right so from here like I said I have this T this T that we're going to put on okay so we should just be able to connect here this one is all on so I want to look at how this lines up here so this is all right, off the ground we are about to the top about ten and three quarters inches so this T 
10 and three quarters. This is gonna be perfect. So we actually will not need any elbows at all. How in the world did that work? Um, okay, so I'm gonna do a very quick cut to put our top, to put our top back on here. So this was connected to PVC before through here, but it will connect, I'm sorry, it was connected to copper before, but it will connect via PVC. So we're just gonna make a small, small cut of that. And what's incredibly nice about this is the fact that we have zero, zero glue that we have to do at this point. So that works out absolutely perfect. Now, one thing that I should have done, and we're gonna just backtrack just a little bit here. Um, but I want to be able to connect this to here with this. I want to connect that before I put it on top of here. Now, why do I want to do that? Well, it's going to be hard for me uh, to fit all of this in after I put the top back on. So, so here, we're going to use our shark bite here. this this way. Okay. okay. Clamp this in. It is good. All right. We are going to measure from here to there to make sure we get the right cut. Okay. And you're only going to go a little inside just a little bit. So I measure kind of point to point. Okay, so we look at here. Right here, we're looking 17 inches to uh, the middle line. The tape measure ends the middle line. So I'm just gonna go 17 inches. I'm gonna cut that with a hack off. Okay, so. Cut it by hand. So like I said here, it's, it's gonna be, oh, well, maybe I can do it. Hold on a second here. So, um, so we're angled down. Okay, so I'm gonna insert this in here. Okay. Okay, so it is all the way in. All right, and over here. Actually, we are just a little bit short, so this is fine. Um, so let's cut this again. I need this to be about 17, 17 and a half is what we actually need. Okay, we need a slight revision to the size um, of our pipes. We measure 17, but we needed to go in a little more. So measure, measure a little bit deeper if you if you can. So here, we'll shove this, this in here. Okay, and at the same time, we're going to shove in the other side. So go in here. Okay, we're going to lift this up, and insert into our elbow. Okay, so we are. We are in, in everything. Okay, perfect. All right. And as I said, we're gonna put um, some anchors on the wall just so these, so this, it's just supported a little bit better. But, okay, so we've got this. We have it connected here as well. So let's cut a little piece from our excess and hook back our dryer, or our washer hookups. So we're gonna stick this here. Okay. Put it down until you feel, until you feel it catch. Okay. So from here, 
this back in. Okay, so now we are up. Okay, now it caught. Okay, so for our plan, I have I have really thought this was gonna take us a lot of um, gluing, but it has actually worked out perfectly, that no gluing. So right now I'm gonna go turn the water on just to see if we have any, uh, any issues going on here at start, so. Back in. Right, so water is turned on. Um, everything is connected. Open the grips. And I see a little, a little here. Um, I see a little up top too. So we can push those, push those in a little more. Um, Exactly where but yeah it's still coming from up top so this yeah this here sealed the top it's still still there all right let me give this another good push So it looks like that dripping has stopped. So we are, we are good. Just make sure, make sure you press it all the way in um, before you turn the water on or before you walk away from it and call it a day. Um, I'm gonna get those support pieces for the walls so I can, you know, put the washer back and be done with it for now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab those now and show you to put those in. And we're gonna check outside as well. Hi right, guys, so we're just checking out here. All right, so we're on, but nothing's on. What is up with that? Interesting, interesting. Let's take a look inside. To the wise. So I tried this already, it didn't work. So discovered that there is an arrow on the shark bite, uh, the, the shot off valve, and I installed it incorrectly. So you will want to take note of that when you are, if you're using one of those. So this should be good now. So, perfect. All right, so that is good. Now as promised, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these um, these anchor these uh, anchors to hold onto the wall, so this is not suspended. And we're gonna wrap this up. All right, like I said, 
Um, all I really want to do is I want, I want to keep this upright so it's not really, uh, I mean, on the other side, it could be resting on the, the exhaust and I don't, definitely do not want that. So this does not need to hold a lot of um, support because I mean, the, the pipes are already doing that. I just I want to just keep this, keep it suspended, keep it higher. So we're going to have this up here. using drywall screws nothing nothing major for this so you should hold it how, how I need here put one here questions um, let me know in the comments below I'd be glad, glad to help answer any questions uh, but realistically what I thought we were gonna end up doing with this project we actually did not need to do so everything was able to be assembled using the shark bite connectors but we did not need to use any kind of um, cement and glue so make sure if you guys are using this it is at the very bottom of this it points this direction so you want to make sure that um, there and just make sure you're, you're measuring and pushing pushing your pipes all the way in and the good thing with PVC is if you over measure and they don't fit you can always take off and cut um, or find additional couple so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below do appreciate you guys tuning in to the brick building kids and have a great day thanks for watching